Oh, Father. Holy, holy Father. Just let go even now. Come on, let's go straight in. Straight in. Holy, holy Father. We have come to love you. To worship you and adore you. So, Lord, we, we lift our hands in your holy presence. And we, we plead the blood, Lord. We plead the blood to cover us. We enter in by the blood of the Lamb tonight. And we pray you to receive our worship like incense that comes before you, like a balm on your heart. Let tonight be a night we all remember because of your beauty and your presence. Give us stamina to be with you tonight. Increase our capacity to go beyond any place we've ever been in your presence. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the power, all the majesty, all of it is yours forever and ever and ever. Just keep blessing the Lord. Worthy is the Lamb. Blessed be your holy and precious name. That's it. Blessed be your holy and your precious name. That's it. Worthy are you, Lord. Holy is your name, the name of Jesus, the name above every name. Amen, amen, amen. Let's go. Let's keep, let's keep praising Jesus as I read this right here. Psalm 24 says, The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive blessings from the Lord and righteousness from God of his salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates, lift up your everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory and his name is Jesus. Let's begin to praise Jesus and put his name on our lips. Jesus, we worship you. We welcome you here tonight, Father God. Have your way, Lord, in Jesus' name.
the name of the Lord. Blessed be 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 the name of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name. Oh 
And who can grasp in 
Jesus is King, He reigns forevermore. Oh, blessed is He, blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Join is King, He reigns forevermore. Blessed is He, blessed is He. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Joy now and sing, Jesus is King, he reigns forevermore. Blessed is he.
Jesus, you're beautiful. Jesus, you're beautiful. Jesus, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. Jesus, 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 you're beautiful.
sing that again. I see you. I see you there hanging on a tree. You bled and then you died and then you rose again for me. minutes ago I was there in my seat and I felt in my heart that we were supposed to all together offer our lives afresh to Jesus to, to, to offer our bodies, our futures to offer our lives as living sacrifices to offer our bodies to the Lord. As Romans says, this is the acceptable response or service to such a loving God. And for some reason, you know, life can get so uh, stirred up that we forget to say the simple things to the Lord that mean the most to Him, like, I love you. So, as we're offering ourselves to the Lord, can we offer our beings to the Lord in love and, and tell the Lord once again, it's something he never grows tired of. Can we tell the Lord once again that we love him? How would you take just the next 30 seconds and the best you know how, just present your being, your, the entirety of your life to the Lord and let loving words just drip from your lips. You can do it out loud. I just think that's the right thing to do in his house right now. Can we do that? Wonderful Father, we come and offer our hearts, our bodies, our minds, our thoughts to you afresh. And we want you to hear from our lips that we love you. As you said to the Shulamite, you wanted to hear her love. And so here, Lord, we words don't do justice but we're doing our best right now and we know it means something to you we love you Lord Jesus we love you thank you Lord for coming to marry us wonderful bridegroom thank you for washing our stain away so that we could marry you and all of these songs were to you Lord and, and for you now we, by faith, we give our beings to you. We 
we do have the sense of heaven tonight. That we are in a special place, a holy place tonight. Let the rain of your spirit fall, that gentle, beautiful rain that wakes us up to your nearness and to your beauty. Would you just lift your hands in faith, like just like the little children? Holy Lord, provoke wonder in us like children. Let your people know the touch of your spirit. Let us all know the touch of your spirit. And we mean it when we say it, Lord, you are so beautiful. And you are loved here. There are many places you're not loved in the world. But help us, Holy Spirit, to be known in heaven as those who love Jesus. We want you to come our way, Lord Jesus, and know that we'll open the door when you knock and that you can come in and dine with us and us with you. Open our eyes to your beautiful face. Blind us to the world. Blind us to all of its pull. Be loved tonight. Can we just tell him we love him just one more time? Jesus, we love you. We love you, precious Lord. Thank you for your kindness. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Amen. Why don't, why don't you just make your way back to your seat if you came up? And just here in the presence of the Lord, without, without making too much noise, why don't you love on a few people and keep your hearts fixed on Jesus as you do that. So thankful for our team and Steph, Miss Kathy. What a blessing. What a wonderful time. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Wasn't that precious? Can we just lift our hands again and just tell the Lord we love him all over his house? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amy, are you... Let's just fix our hearts on the Lord. Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit, thank you that you're moving on hearts already. You're welcome here. Here, why we came tonight. And as we sang a Hosanna, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And we behold, we behold that moment when our king had come lowly riding on a donkey. And he came for one reason, and to give his life. And 
to give his life for you. Our king fully surrendered and became obedient unto death, even the death on a cross. And our king is here, our king is in the room and he's speaking to your heart even now. Speaking to your heart even now. I was praying all day And the Lord reminded me of a dream I had a few weeks back. I didn't know that I would share it, but I felt from the Holy Spirit to share it tonight. And I had a dream that I was sitting in the middle of a really long bridge. You guys can just look at Jesus. You don't need to look at me. I just hear the Lord. The Lord's words of love that are beckoning to you tonight. And I was sitting in the middle of this very long bridge and on one side of the bridge, it was just busyness. Uh, Think of like the biggest city you can think of and flashing lights and things and nonstop motion and chaos and loud clanging music and, and just flashes everywhere. Just people going here and there, just drawn into tall buildings. And it was very man-made. It was all man-made. And very far on the other side, of the bridge were the most beautiful green pastures. So quiet, so still, so holy, so peaceful. And I sat in the middle of this bridge and I saw cars come and the cars would come and they would get almost to the end and they would turn around. And I remember thinking, where, why, would, why, aren't they go- why aren't they going? Why are they turning around? Don't they know what's on the other side? And that's the place that you were made for. The scripture says in 2 Corinthians 5, beginning at verse 14, for the love of Christ compels us because we judge thus that if one died for all, then all died and he who died for all, that those who live should live no longer for themselves, for him who died for them and rose again. And it goes on to say, and this is what I feel, I wish I could, I wish I could express what I feel in my spirit. And it says, we are ambassadors for Christ as though God were pleading through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in him. And I see Jesus today. And he's saying, if you would just taste and see, if you would just taste and see, your palate has been so changed that you don't even know that the desire you have for the things and the stuff and the noise, it's because your palate has been so conformed into this world. And the quiet and the stillness and the secret seems foreign to you. You're uncomfortable when you come close to it. And he says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. He's made you to lie down in green pastures. He has not made you for this world. The scripture says we no longer live for the world. We deny the world. Self-denial, just like Jesus, just like that king who came on the donkey, complete denial of self. And his voice comes tonight with the most beautiful love not out of shame or condemnation, not to say what's wrong, not to force you over over that long road, not to push you into that place, but to beckon you with his love. So if you're in the room tonight, 
and you know you already know. that you need the Lord to take you by the hand and lead you into green pastures besides still water. To decide today, here and now, that I wanna no longer live for myself. I don't wanna do this back and forth thing. I wanna really live for him. Would you just lift your hands tonight in the presence of the Lord? Thank you, Jesus, for all these hands. If you need realignment tonight, if you need realignment tonight, and you say, I was once in that place, I was once by, in those green pastures, I was once living in peace and joy, but I, I turned my eyes away, and that thing has be, become desirable. The pride of life, the lust of the flesh, that's actually become desirable to me, and I don't want it anymore. Just lift your hands to Jesus. He sees you, and he's reaching out to you tonight. He's extending his hand. Thank you for all these hands. And maybe you're just like, I'm, I'm there, you know, I'm, I'm across that bridge. I'm, I'm right there. I've got my feet in the fields, but I want to lie down and rest. I wanna burn with first love again. I wanna burn in first love again. I wanna get lost for hours. An hour and a half we worship tonight. I wanna go back to days where I could spend hours and hours and hours in the presence of the Lord, completely lost and abandoned before him. If you want first love again, just lift your hands to Jesus tonight. All over this room, let's stand. I feel like this might be half the church tonight. Just stand and just come to Jesus. Just come out from where you are and come to Jesus. Come to his arms. See his hand extended to you tonight. Out of love, out of love, not out of anger, not out of, not out of anger, but out of love for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You can come down from the balcony. Come down from the balcony. We'll wait. We're not in a rush. I feel chains breaking off tonight. No longer stuck, no longer bound, no longer bound, no longer stuck. No longer eyes for the world, but eyes for him and only him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You can just begin to thank the Lord if you're in your seats. Just begin to thank the Lord and pray for those that are coming. Begin to pray. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Yeah, we'll wait for all of you up in the balcony. We'll wait. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's no one like Jesus. There's no one like Jesus. There's no one like Jesus. Holy are you, Lord. Holy are you, Lord. Holy are you, Lord. Touch your people, Jesus. Touch your people, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you that you never give up on us. You never give up on us. Thank you that you're a faithful father. You're a faithful father. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for shedding your blood for us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 We're going to pray. You're gonna pray and you're gonna behold. Behold Jesus. Would you see Jesus tonight as you pray, knowing that he hears you. He's here in our midst and he hears you. He's right there in front of you. He's right there in front of you. Just say, Lord Jesus, here I am, have me, have all of me, have my life, have my life, Lord. Today I surrender fully to your will, to your plan. I give you my all. 
Lord Jesus, today I deny myself. I pick up my cross and I follow you. Change my palate. Make my eyes burn with first love for you. I want to know you. I want to love you. I want to serve you. Conform me into your image. Renew my mind. Forgive me of my sin. I renounce this world. I don't want anything to do with it anymore. Lead me, Lord, beside still waters. I long for communion with you. Be my Lord, be my master, be my savior. Take my life and receive me just as I am. Lord, I thank you that you came, that you died for my sin, that you were buried, that you rose again on the third day and you ascended into heaven. I believe that you're seated at the right hand of the Father and you're coming back for me. Lord, keep me all the days of my life. Keep me in love, burning for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, how he loves you, how he loves you. Whether this is the first time you've come or you've been here many times, his arms are always open to receive you. Don't you ever let anything keep you from running to him. What a faithful father he is. And I truly believe today that tomorrow when you wake up, maybe the first thing that you would go to in the morning was a phone or, or a friend or something other than Jesus because your palate has been made to desire that. I believe that tomorrow it'll be for Jesus. It'll be for Jesus tomorrow when you wake up. It'll be for his word tomorrow when you wake up. So quickly we say this every week because these are the things that will keep you. These will keep you to the end. You pray every single day. You talk to Jesus. First thing in the morning when you wake up, you talk to Jesus. You open the word of God and you encounter Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit reveal Jesus in the scripture to you. You find a church. If you are not a part of a church, we would love to have you here. If you are not from here, find a church that loves Jesus and loves his word and loves the Holy Spirit. If you have not been baptized, get baptized. We do baptisms here, find somewhere, get baptized in water. It's the cutting away of the old man. We're gonna pray that you are filled with the Holy Spirit to empower you to walk this thing out. We are gonna pray that in a moment and then tell someone about Jesus. What a week to tell someone about Jesus, the week that we celebrate all that he did for us. Tell someone about Jesus. He'll use your life to preach the gospel. And so we're gonna pray now and we're gonna pray for all of us in the room, those watching online, that you would be filled. So let's just stretch our hands and lift our hands. Ask for yourself too, Lord. We thank you that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit. Come and touch your people now, Holy Spirit. I pray those that have never been filled, Lord, fill them today. Fill them today, Lord. Fill those in their homes right now watching online. Empower them, Lord, with your Holy Spirit. Empower them with your Holy Spirit to give them grace to walk this Christian life out, Lord. That they would be led into your truth, Jesus, by your spirit, Lord. Sanctify them by your truth, by your Holy Spirit in your word, Lord. Lord, we plead your blood over every single one, Lord. Keep them, keep them, keep them until the end, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Well, if we could just welcome those as they, as they go back to their seats, let's just thank Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for every life, Lord. Never the same. Never the same in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Guys, can we give the Lord praise? 
Daniel, can we move this pulpit? Can we give the Lord praise? How precious, beautiful, Amy. Thank God for his gospel. I want us to once again thank Miss Kathy for coming along with Steph. And, and are you thankful for the choir who's been standing for two hours? We were going to do the choir special after the offering, but a spirit of compassion came over me. And I just saw them standing there like lovely little saints. And so we're going to do it now. Can we welcome the choir one more time? And you can be seated for now unless you feel led to jump up and begin worshiping, which wouldn't shock me.
give the Lord all the praise. How precious. Come on, thank the choir, thank Miss Kathy, the team, the entire team. Love you all so much. Come on, guys, let them know you love them. We are so blessed, so blessed to have them. Thank you, Miss Kathy. Thank you, choir. Go rest your feet. Emma is beautiful. Wasn't that wonderful? Beautiful, the violin. Wow. Wow. Well, it's going to be a beautiful night, as though it hasn't been already. Uh, it's somebody's birthday tomorrow. It's Jesse's birthday tomorrow. So. I, um, I was wondering if we could get uh, Steph up here. She can bring Wilder. Isn't it just wonderful when Steph and Miss Kathy come? It just it never feels like a guest. So if somebody could just grab Steph. If she's with Wilder, just bring him on out. But um, I think Lily has a little something. Lily, can you hear me? No. She's trying to get out here. <laughs> she has to make her way through the choir. I didn't know when I was supposed to walk up here during that choir special. I didn't. I was just kind of like, <laughs> I want to be that guy who blows it all up, you know. Thank you, Joel, for, oh, Wow. Come on out, Lily, too. Come on. Theo carrying the cake there. Benny, you want to help spot him? You're good? Come on. Babe, why don't you come up? And uh, Allison, why don't you come? I think we should sing Jesse happy birthday. Aren't you thankful for her? And then I'm going to ask a few people just to pray over her and speak some, some blessings over Jess. But um, we're so blessed to have somebody like Jess uh, here. Uh, and beyond the students, this church would not be what it is. Certainly our family wouldn't be what it is. But how she loves you all. And I just think it's right to just show honor. She's 21 today. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, Allison, maybe Steph can help too. Oh, where's Sophia? Well, I think it's like far away tonight. No. Yeah, probably not. All right, Joel, play some happy birthday. Steph, you want to help? Oh, I'd be happy to. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Steph to just speak, speak some of God's heart over Jess. Steph, if you don't mind, if you'd pray. It'd be my joy. It'd be my you joy. Do. Dear, Come dear on, let's stretch friend. our hands out towards Jess. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, thank you for this Benny, precious Benny, come friend. On. This precious friend of yours precious bride, this precious daughter. Thank you for the gift of knowing her. To know her is to be reminded of you always. I can say this is true. Lord, she's found you her great delight. You can see it in her eyes and her smile, in the tenderness when she says your name. We thank you. 
we ask that you this year would pour yourself out onto Jessica with ever increasing measure, with an ever flowing flood of your presence. Oh, that your word would be like fire in her bones. That she would know you in the face-to-face -face place as she's never known you before. That you would wake her in the night and that she would linger long after the crowds have left. That you would be speaking to her. That she would behold you. That she would behold you. That she would see you more clearly than she's ever seen you before. Oh, Jesus. And that we would be blessed by the fruit, by the overflowing flood of your presence in and through Jessica. Oh, wow. Lord, I pray. I pray for dreams in the night to increase. I know that she dreams, but I ask, Lord, for an increase of your voice that it would come like thunder to her, Lord. Even the whisper would become like thunder to her, Lord, and drown out every other voice, drown out every other sound that it would be most precious, most dear, that you would be first and most in all things, Lord. In the beautiful, precious name of Jesus, we bless Jessica. And we say yes, we agree with all that you've dreamed in your heart for her life that it would all come to pass, not a moment be stolen, not a word stolen, not a bit of it missed, that it would come to pass in the fullness and health, in health and in great joy, the fear of the Lord and great joy. She would speak your word, Jesus name, Jesus name. Amen. Kathleen, would you come? Jess was when you met her. Four. I'd love for you to pray for her. Come, come sit here. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, thank you for Jessica. Thank you for this precious life. Thank you for everything that she's meant to us, everything she's meant to me, Lord. Lord, I thank you for everything she has meant to us as a church, as a leader, as our lover of you, Lord God. I thank you for how well she leads, Lord. How well she loves you, Lord. I thank you for her life. And Lord, I too, I pray for increase over Jessica. I pray for increase of her influence, Lord. Increase in her voice, Lord God. Increase in her reach, Lord God. Lord, I know you set her for a time like this. Lord, that she would be a, a light and a shining example to those, to those who she ministers to, Lord. Lord, may she reveal Jesus in all that she does. May she reveal Jesus, and I pray. I just feel... I just feel like there's going to be an increase in the in the uh, in the healing ministry for Jessica. In strengthening increase in the clarity, Lord God. Increase in healing, Lord God. Increase in her faith, Lord God. Bless her this year. May this be her greatest year, Lord God. May every place that she plants her foot flourish, Jesus. May she walk in the fat of your presence, Lord. Thank you. May her feet walk with ease, Lord God. May every bit of burden be light, Lord God. Everything that she carries, Lord God, let it be light, Jesus. I thank you for Jessica. Amen. Just stretch your hands just a little longer. Lord, thank you for Jess. Only you know how much she loves me and the children and, and your people. Yes. And so, Lord, we just pray in Jesus' name for the greatest year of her life. Yes. A life of uh, joy and peace in your presence. Yes. A year of health and 
incredible happiness. Thank you for the joy of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for strength to go on, Lord, for years to come, serving her family and your people. We give you all the glory, Lord, for her, for her heart, for her commitment to you and those she loves. Thank you for the loyal woman she is. Thank you, Lord, for this gift of loyalty. It's a gift. It's a gift to be so loyal. It's a wonderful thing to know you. So, Lord, let your blessed anointing rest upon her. We thank you in Jesus' name for this life. And we give you all the praise for sending Jess to walk with us. Amen. 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 Can we just give the Lord praise and bless her? Thank you, Lord. Theo and Benny have prophetic words. <laughs> I think I asked them, I said, Do you all have a prophetic word? They go, No. <laughs> okay. Love you so much, babe. You're such a gift. They don't come any any more faithful than Jess. So what a what a blessing that is, huh? Can we thank her one more time? Love you. <laughs> Love you. So tonight, yeah, tonight we're going to uh, receive the offering. Uh, who, who's doing that? Amy Gray. Oh, you're going to come up pregnant. You need help? Aaron forgot. She's got it. He goes, she's got it. <laughs> um, Amy's going to receive tonight's offering. And then I felt a few things. Um, number one, prayer team, get ready. Uh, how many of you came for a fresh touch from the Holy Spirit? <laughs> Good, you did too. Good, and your baby. <laughs> I'm going to have, once we receive the offering, we're going to open the altars. And um, I want you to come up in faith to receive as the prayer team prays for you. The gospel's been preached. We've worshipped for, I think, 90 minutes. Did we worship for? Praise the Lord. One day we'll worship forever. And um, our team will be here to serve you. But I want you to come up even now, I should say, as you're preparing to come up, let your heart get stirred. And I want you to be in thinking about um, the days of your deepest hunger and how the Lord met you. And while, in, while you're in your seat now, begin to prepare your heart. Okay, God bless you. Let's welcome Amy. I really feel like I don't have to say much because how can you not give (laughs) after tonight? Um, And I just really felt like, man, today, could we just, can we give and just look at him? Truly. Truly, 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 can we just give and look at him? And you know in scripture, it's not about a number, although if he tells you a number, we should be obedient. But even in our tithes, that we shouldn't just, we, we should remember why we give our tithes. So every single time, the Lord's just been pressing on my heart every single time. That I get paid, I'm like, wait a minute, I'm going to sit and I'm going to worship the Lord before I give my tithe. I don't want it to become just a routine that I don't forget the holiness and the value of our tithes and our offering. And sometimes we can get so used to giving that we forget the value and the holiness of why we are giving in the first place. And so tonight, I just feel like he's so present in the room Let's not make it a common thing, but it is a holy thing to give. It is a holy thing to give to the one who's given all. Amen? So, Father, we thank you, Jesus, that tonight we are giving 
to you who has given us eternal life. You can't put a cost on eternal life. You can't put a number on eternity with you, Jesus. So, Father, I thank you, Lord, that we just give with hearts of love and gratitude, staring into your face tonight. And I pray, Lord, that we see it as worship and holiness. We don't see it as something we just do as Christians, but we value it. We value it so much, God. Lord, would you bless every single giver tonight? And as we were singing in the choir special, we just kept singing, I will trust in you. And if we are saying it, we should believe it. If we're worshiping and singing it, we should believe it. So, Lord, we trust in you. There's not a doubt in our mind of who you are. We love you, Lord. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Well, you guys know all of the ways to give. If you guys need an envelope, um, our ushers are going to be walking around. So just raise your hand if you'd like to give by cash or check. And if you're giving by your phone, there's going to be the QR code or the number on the screen. And for those watching online, there will also be a number on your screen as well. We'll be right back.
We believe that the nations will descend on this land. That the sick will be healed here. That the lost will be saved here. That the presence of the glory of God will rest here. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down. That the mountains might shake at your presence. That the gospel will go forth from here. Shaking the earth for the glory of God. That the presence of Jesus Christ would dwell among us. Here we will enter into the peace of your presence. Here we will remain. Jesus said, remain in me and I in you. Here we will remain. This is holy ground. Where only one thing is needed, Jesus. May Jesus be pleased with all that takes place here. May he be adored and worshiped here. May his word be taught in clarity and love here as we tell the generations to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works he has done. May the generations come to find him here. To find Jesus here. Here. Together we will build the house of God. And a home for his people.